Hey, I'm Big Lou, Big Lou Barbecue, and other things I want to do, and let me tell you what I've got going on for you. It's going to be a football game today played between Florida State and Southern Miss. Uh, I went to Southern Miss. This is their old logo. This is their new logo. My buddy Meathead's from Florida. He's a big Florida State fan. And uh, so we decided this would be a good thing to collaborate on. Uh, he does smash burgers. I do smash burgers. We decided not to do wings. I've never done smash burgers before, but evidently it's a cool tailgate food to do. So we're going to do smash burgers today on Big Lou Barbecue. Now let me tell you a story. My freshman year at Southern Miss, uh, we had a quarterback by the name of Favre. You've probably never heard of him before because he's only the second most famous person to ever graduate from Southern Miss. Now Favre was a starting quarterback for Southern Miss and Florida State was ranked number one. They opened the season Labor Day weekend, had to play the game in Jacksonville, Florida. and. The Eagles won like a thousand to nothing. Now, if you look at the record books, it says 30 to 26, but the way I remember it, it was a million to nothing. All right, I know. This game here, they're not going to win by that much. By the way, I think the two schools have only played once since then, and that was 96, and Florida State won that game. Florida State will probably win this game because they're favored by 14 points, but that doesn't stop me from rooting for my school. All right, anyway. Um, I mentioned it, Favre, this fella Brett Favre is only the second most famous person to ever graduate from Southern Miss. You're wondering who the uh, most famous person in my book? A fella named Jimmy Buffett. He sang a song about cheeseburgers in paradise. All right, now some of you think of Jimmy Buffett. He sings a bunch of drinking songs and you and Meathead are the ones on YouTube that aren't drinking while you cook. Well, that's true, but you know what? He did sing about cheeseburgers and Meathead likes cheeseburgers. I like cheeseburgers. We're doing smash burgers, smash cheeseburgers on Big Lou Barbecue. Please check out Meathead's channel, Southern Miss to the top. By the way, I'll post the score in the description box too. If Southern Miss loses, the score will be down at the bottom. If Southern Miss wins, the score will be up at the top. Let's have some fun, y'all. All right, for this collaboration, I've got some of these um, buns that you cut in half. I'll probably be toasting them on the griddle as well. All right, everything I said, saw for a smash burger, said use 80-20 uh, ground chuck. So that's what we're using, but check this out, y'all. Laces, yeah, it's a football pack. Throw it. Got three pounds of it. I don't know if I'm going to make a dozen burgers or not. If I make a quarter pound burgers, that'd be a dozen. Uh, but I've only got eight buns, so maybe I'll only use two pounds. All right, um, but I got to have the meat because I'm doing this with meathead and he doesn't like vegetables a whole lot but buffett says he does he says he likes his with lettuce and tomato high in 57 and french fried potatoes all right yeah i'm using them out of a bag we're not cutting fresh ones he says a big kosher pickle look at those pickles right there long spears cut like that i probably gonna have to cut them in half put them on the sandwich and he says a cold draft beer but we're changing it to root beer told you neither here nor i much on drinking so um we're going to do a cold root beer instead, all right? For a cheeseburger in paradise, all right? So I got to have cheese. I'm going to, uh, what do you call it? Shred this up, sprinkle it on top of the burgers as they cook. For a cheeseburger in paradise, heaven on earth with an onion slice. So I'm going to slice up an onion. I'm going to griddle that up too, all right? And that should just about do it. After that, Buffett has a little prayer. He says, good God almighty, which way do I steer, all right? So, I like mine with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57, French fried potatoes, big kosher pickle and a cold root beer. Good God almighty, which way do I steer for a cheeseburger in paradise, heaven on earth, with an onion slice. Okay, I took the three pounds of meat and I divided it into nine equal size balls, so I guess it's going to be a third of a pound burger. They said use a quarter pound, but I'm going to make them a little bigger. Uh, I've only got eight buns, so one will go without a bun or I'll make a double burger, one to the other. All right. How about that right there? My old coaster. Chopped up some onion slices, got some cheese shredded. I'll be cooking up the um, french fries on the old Coleman stove from 1965, and the smash burgers are going on the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. Cast iron griddle, 
This is an old bacon press. That's what I'm gonna use to make smash burgers with. Look at that, got a pig on it. Right, let's spray this down. All right, so I'm smashing these with this parchment paper. Seen a lot of people cook these right in butter. I think next time I'll only do two patties at once, but they will cook down. And I can already see them starting to turn brown down under here. Probably can't see this from this camera angle, so we'll switch. All right, you see, they're starting to go a little gray there at the bottom. Let's get them seasoned. All right, to season these, a lot of people just use salt and pepper and garlic. I'm using this uh, Cajun Creole seasoning. You know why? Because they use this on everything. From Louisiana, it's how we roll. It's a lot like Tony's, all right? You make it from an old recipe he had. Oh yeah, that was nice and brown. I don't think that one got hot enough. But these, these are getting that nice crust that everybody talks about. These in the center. So let's do this. Move these over here. Took all four of these right there in the center. Maybe that'll solve that problem. Cause these got a nice crust on them. And these on the edge is not getting quite as hot. Alright, I'm going to flip these over again. Yeah, it's a little better crust now. But they've been in the center. And it's time to put some cheese on them. Alright. Get some cheese on top of here. Let it all melt and get gooey. The glove hand had the raw meat on it, so I'm using my bare hands, but they're clean. All right, these are done. And look, I'm gonna uh, cook the other five the same method but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do three and then two so they don't have any out on the edge not getting as hot as the others so I can get that good crust on all of them got to scrape this cheese off of here first though so we'll get this cheese off and we'll get going with some more burgers So just do three in the center for now and uh, come back and get the others here in a minute. I say it's time to pull these fries out of here. Ooh, woo. It's gonna be good. All right, let's flip these. See how we're doing. Yeah, got a pretty crust. And only cooking three at a time has given me room to start with the onion slices on the edges here. Yep, pretty crust. 
So we'll let these cook. I'll cook the other two in the same way. In just a moment, I'll put cheese on them just like I did the others. All right, got the fries. Let's uh, cut this up. Got to cut this bun. I did not toast the bun. I kind of like when they soak up all that grease. Um, of course, you could butter them and all that stuff and cook them right in the grease when you do these smash burgers. So there's the burger. Now, it said uh, medium rare. Would mustard be nice? Let's see if we got medium rare here. Nope, it's well done. They're all well done. Oh well. Still said medium rare with mustard be nice. So let's get some mustard. That sounds nice, doesn't it? My goodness gracious. All right, let's just smear that around there. Said I like mine with lettuce and tomato. So you gotta have some lettuce. Put it right there. Tomato, right there. That's not the prettiest tomato slice. Let me get a pretty tomato slice. This is supposed to be on TV. There we go. Lettuce and tomato, right there, okay? Um, Heinz 57, open it up, get it going. I'm gonna put that on top of the bun. There we go, lots of Heinz 57. All right, big kosher pickle. Get that right there. Got the French fried potatoes, cold root beer. There's my cheeseburger in paradise. Big Lou barbecue. Ah, oh, I forgot the onion slice. Rats, boom, <laughs> like that. Well, some final thoughts on the smash burgers. One, I can understand why this is becoming a fad. These things are pretty good. I do think I need to make them a little smaller. Uh, the quarter pound size would be good. That third of a pound size was a little bit big, but hey, they came out to be uh, fantastic. And um, the other thing I'd like to say is dressing a cheeseburger the Jimmy Buffett way, that was really good. As far as the smash burgers, my wife was impressed and she was really skeptical about it at first, but uh, she absolutely loved the flavor of the burger. So that's a big hit. Meathead, thanks for doing this collaboration with me. Y'all check out Meathead's channel. He's a talented cook. He's an experienced cook and he's a trained cook. Worked a lot in restaurants and stuff like that. And he's got some great videos. Please check out Meathead's uh, video and um meathead uh i got nothing against florida state i'll be a florida state fan after this game uh but hey go eagles to the top big lou barbecue